Hey, it's Day. Welcome to my channel. So today will hopefully be a pretty quick video. Um, I'm just going to be going through my TBR for January and my plans for hopefully actually finishing these books. <laughs> so there are six books on my TBR, which is kind of a lot um, for one month. I would say two or three would probably be a more reasonable reading goal for myself personally and the speed at which I read books. However, there are six. <laughs> two of the books that are on this TBR were actually from December that I kind of started but I didn't have time to finish so they're technically not full reads but they're almost full reads. <laughs> so these are the six books and I'm gonna go through them quickly. So the first book is Authority by Jeff Vandermeer. So this is a buddy read that I'm doing with a friend. Um, we actually finished um, Annihilation in December and jumped right into Authority because we loved it so much. Um, it's so weird. It's weird, but it's amazing. I don't. I don't really know how to describe the writing of this book because I feel like. It would be writing that you don't like or that I don't like but there's just something about it like I just keep turning the page keep turning the page it's so good this read might take a little bit longer only because my friend and I how we do our buddy read is we pick sections and we'll read that section through ourselves and then come together and we'll have like a day where we will like chat about the section that we went through we make notes I uh annotate I don't I just mark things that I like and questions that I have whatever um, so it might take a little bit longer but hopefully by the end of January I'll be mostly through authority annihilation was genuinely so strange and so beautiful and so good and I don't know if anybody has seen the movie but this is not that like I actually I love them both equally and I think that I can because they are not the same um, they do technically both feature a biologist but other than that I feel like they're so vastly different and I was like reading the book searching for the similarities and like there are some of course but for the most part, like they're totally different entities and it's awesome. <laughs> so Authority is the second book of the Southern Reach trilogy and it features a dude named Control who takes over control of uh, the Southern Reach following the events of Annihilation. Um, I can't really tell you much more without it being a spoiler for book one. Um, but it's good so far. I'm enjoying it. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing. High expectations. Second book for this month is Wings of Ebony by JL. She's gorgeous, I just have to say. This book was a read-along um, for Kwanzathon, which was hosted and created by Shay with the Hobbies and was also co-hosted by Brit Riderly, um, who are both awesome people and have awesome channels, which will be linked below. I was originally supposed to read this book in December, uh, but I kind of got sidetracked with other things and I was reading Annihilation and I was just caught up in it. So it was late. It was too late, but it's, <laughs> I have school. I have excuses. I'm reading it now. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to get through this book and support my friend and support an awesome author and hopefully have it done in time to order the second book in the series which is Ashes of Gold. I believe it comes out on the 11th of this month. Um, it also has an amazing cover. Um, I'm hoping to order it 
and add to my collection even though I already said that I wanted to read my backlist. It's a problem guys. So from what I know this book centers around Rue um, who is half human and half god. She's taken to a magical island following her mother's death but she has to return to Houston to save her sister and I quote, save her hood before the gods burn it to the ground. Yes, that sounds amazing, amazing. So I'm very excited to read through this one um, and I will be chatting with Shay as I read. <laughs> so book number three for this month is The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemison, and it is in this. This thing. Drop this sucker on someone's foot and I promise you they will not walk right after. <laughs> so I got this book or these books uh, for the read-along um, that Cachet from Shea with the Hobbies and Chloe from Thistle and Verse are hosting over the next couple months. So each month we're doing one of one book from the trilogy and then there's I believe a novella and a short story or something like that which will be combined for the fourth month. And I will link their announcement videos below. I have no idea how I'm going to take this around with me but I will I will figure it out. <laughs> For this book, I will honestly say I'm going in kind of blind. I have never read an N.K. Jemisin work before. <laughs> Don't come for me, I'm sorry. I'm trying to remedy it right now. I'm working on it, okay guys? I also have um, the fifth season on my shelf. So who knows, maybe this read along will Spur an N.K. Jemisin craze and I will go through everything. Who knows guys? I'm sorry. I'm trying. And can I just say books like this, the size, are so intimidating. Like I have a couple up my shelves, like The Stand and It. And I'm like, they're the kind of books where you just kind of like avoid eye contact because you think they're just gonna come and beat you up or something like she's thick. So book number four for this month is Blood Child and Other Stories by uh, Octavia Butler. Um, I believe I picked this one up last year after I think it was Kate Cavanaugh posted, posted a video that she was reading the um, this book. Don't quote me on it but I think that is the person who I got this book because of. I'm really liking collections lately. Um, I think it's because it's um, less of a time commitment, right? You just pick up the book and read a short story and then has no real relation to any of the other stories in the book. Um, it's relatively small so um, I'm really excited to go through this and pick out which stories that I like the best. And yeah, the next book I will be reading is another collection of shorts. It is We're Not Home. Um, this is a horror anthology that was um, published and edited by Cam Wolf. I will link his channel below. Um, it features the work of a lot of author tubers, um, including my critique partner, Cache, um, and the uh, writing experiment queen Kate Cavanaugh they are all included in here so I'm really excited again to go through and um, pick out my favorite stories I also there's a lot of names on here that I don't recognize so I will be uh, checking out some channels as well and the last book that I'll be reading uh, this month was kind of sprung on me at the last minute I was in a productivity session with a couple friends and I was chatting with Deidre from Shade Tree Reads and she told me about uh, their read along, read a thon. I don't know what the difference is. I think I should find out what that is. But anyways, um, they, uh, Deidre and Brie 
from the Lockbook Titian are reading the Suki Stackhouse series um, over the course of the next next year. So the Suki Stackhouse series is by Charlene Harris, um, and it is actually the series that True Blood, the TV show, um, is based on, which I kind of like. I don't know if I got caught in an in-between season lull and forgot about it or whatnot, but there was a time when I was like, True Blood is it. It's so good. It's so funny and also weird. And Eric Northman, Alexander Skarsgård, thank you. But anyways, so the first book um, that we're reading this month is called Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. Um, I'm actually reading this one in an audiobook format um, because I kind of find, found out about it last minute. But also I think it would be, um, I think it would be good to kind of switch up my format a little bit um, just because I know that I'm a slow reader and for audiobooks I listen on 1.8 speed so it's like pretty quick. I actually went for a walk this morning for an hour and I am like 13% into the book already because I just listened to an audiobook. And it's great and it reminds me of the TV show and I like I, I want to say nostalgia but it's not old enough to be nostalgia but it's good. <laughs> Idra did warn me that the books and the show kind of diverge at some point in time and they're not really that similar so I'm prepared for that but as of right now I'm riding the high and loving my true blood resurgence. <laughs> As a bit of a wrap up, one of the goals that I mentioned in my 2022 goals video, which I will link above, um, was to have 50% of the books that I read this year come from my own physical TBR, um, which I have completed. I think the Southern Reach um, Blood Child and We're Not Home are from my backlist. And then while um, Wings of Ebony and the Inheritance Trilogy I technically bought in 2021 so they could be considered backlist but I bought them in December to read for these specific um, read-alongs, read-a-thons, whatever the correct term is. So I kind of think that they should be counted as new. You can let me know what your thoughts are. And then I also, I don't own the um, Dead Until Dark book. I'm just um, using the audiobook on script. So I kind of got 50%, three, I don't know how to count Dead Until Dark. I'm just gonna say I got 50%. Don't come for me, I'm trying. <laughs> I don't even, will I even read all six of these books? Yes, because we are going to be positive until proven otherwise. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me and ring that notification bell if that's the kind of thing you're into. All of the awesome people and channels and announcement videos um, that I mentioned today will be linked down below so please check them out. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!